Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Pides the tutor. We'll be looking at the question 2020 chemistry science paper 2 question B2 on chromatography. The question says the diagram below represents a paper chromo chromatograph of three sugars. The sugars are K, M, and N. Then, the question says, I'm sure you can see the diagram properly. The question says, state the most soluble sugar. So, we have sugar M, K, and N. Now, they're saying which one is the most soluble sugar in this case. Now, the most soluble sugar is the one that, that has moved a lot. The one that has moved a longer distance than, uh, than the others. So in this case, our answer is N. N is the most soluble sugar because it has moved a longer distance than any other sugars. On the chromatogram above, indicate the solvent front. Now, a solvent front is a line that separates the sugars from their solubilities. And that line is this line. So that's the solvent front. The same line which you are seeing there. There, the one which is indicated there, that's the solvent front. C says, the three sugars, K, M, and N, are colorless. What should be done to the chromatogram to make them visible? Now, to make these uh, sugars visible, they should be uh, dipped in a solvent that has the high uh, chances of making them visible. So, and that one can be ethanol. So dip this. So I'm saying you put the chromatograph. Put the chromatogram. In a solvent. Such as. Ethanol. Then D says, explain how chromatograph can be used to identify false bank or false or forged paper money. How can you use chromatograph to identify fake money? That's what they're asking us. So now, to identify fake money using chromatograph is just getting the, you get the little money. So you get the real. So you get the real money. Then you, you identify certain features which the, the real money has. Or maybe you get colors, for example. Get the real money colors or features. Then you put those features, like you put those colors. Um, Somewhere, let me just draw like this. This is the chromatograph. Then you have your fake money, let me call it X. No way. You have your true money, let me call it T. Then you have your fake money, let me call it X. Another fake money, let me call it Y. So what happens is, when you put your sample here for the true money, and you put the sample here for the fake money, and another sample for the fake money, if the sample money, sorry, if the true money moves up to here, the sample. And what happens is that these two, they don't move. For example, X moves there and Y moves somewhere there. What happens? These will be considered to be fake because they are not in the same line as the true money. So that's how you can do it. You can see that X has moved this and Y has moved that. Are they in the same line? 
no they are not in the same line that's how you can identify fake money just get samples of the true money then compare it with the false monies or false notes in their solubilities and how they are going to move so that's all that we have for today this is the tutor i'll see you in the next video